What's up Zendu Nation, what's going on? This is Dan Whitmer and today I'm gonna to be talking about why you continue to get shin splints and then also some tips for helping to prevent them. So today guys, I'm hanging out in a park in Philadelphia, actually my home city. Um, I don't know what this park's called, there's just a lot of big domino pieces everywhere. It's pretty cool. I just stopped in for a couple of days, shooting a video, and then heading to New York for our second, sorry, our third United States meetup. So be sure to check that out on our Facebook page, Zen Dude Fitness on Facebook, to see if we, where and when, well, it's not a question of if we're coming to your city. We're definitely coming to your city. It's just a matter of when. Now, in our community, we get asked a lot Dan, I keep getting shin splints, this sucks, I don't wanna jump rope anymore, what do I do? My friend, I totally understand you, but just understand that shin splints are a part of when you're a beginner and you're starting to do any type of exercise. So it's not just related to jump rope, um, but a lot of stop and start sports called shin splints. Tennis, basketball, racquetball is another one. So this is also probably one of the most frequent questions that we get asked. If you haven't yet, be sure to check out our video entitled how to prevent injury when jumping rope, because that'll give you a broad range of things that you can do to protect against other things simply or other than just shin splints. But in today's video, we're gonna focus solely on shin splints because it does seem to be a big issue for a lot of people when starting to jump rope. If you guys like this video, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up below, followed by a subscribe. If you want to continue to receive more information around how to jump rope, get lean, and most importantly, have fun. All right, ladies and gentlemen, to start things off, we're going to first talk about jumping too high. Now, what you don't want to do is you don't want to be more than one to two inches off the ground. The reason why most people get shin splints is simply because they, their impact on the earth is too high. So if you see here, I'm a little bit out of control. The rope's even a little bit out of control as well. And that's what we want to avoid um, when trying to avoid shin splints. Notice here, I'm just going like five to six inches off the ground. It's completely unnecessary. You might, if you're hitting double unders, need to do that. But if you're just doing regular bounce guys and you're a beginner, there's really no need. If you see here in the video, check out my feet, how they're only coming about maybe one, one and a half inches, but it's pretty much one inch off the ground. That is the height that you want to get when you're jumping rope. And guys, this is going to come with practice too. You're going you're gonna to need to practice staying low to the ground. All right, guys, the next one up is you're jumping too frequently. And what I mean by that is if you're a beginner, there's no way that you can just start out jumping seven days a week. Even Brandon and myself take a day of rest where we don't have all that work. If you notice here, what I'm trying to show is if you're jumping rope every day, you start to get tired, you start to get miserable. By that seventh day, you don't even want to jump rope anymore. So a big part of becoming comfortable with the jump rope is doing it, I would say, two to three times per week when you're starting out for your first four to six weeks and then gradually moving up to the point that Brandon and I are at now where we can go almost every day because our legs are used to it. Um, next up guys, I'm using the Nike Air Max 90s in this. I'm not, this is not a paid, uh, we're not endorsed by Nike, we don't get paid to say this. These are just the shoes that I wear when I jump rope. Um, I highly recommend them just because of their support. The Lunar Series is another one I would check out, but having the right shoes is a very, very important thing um, when jumping rope and making sure that you're coming the right height off of the ground and not too much much I do don't get me wrong ladies and gentlemen I like the old-school Converse style shoe it just doesn't have that much support so I would pick a running shoe Nike Lunars Nike Air Max are the ones that we recommend Number four, you're not warming up. That's a huge thing, ladies and gentlemen. You have to be warmed up because if you go right in the jumping rope and having all that impact on your feet, you're probably gonna end up with shin splints, to be honest with you. So the Zen Dude warm up is 20 jumping jacks, 10 air squats, 10 front lunges, 10 push ups, as you know. Um, and guys, check out the, uh, if you get a chance, check out the Zen Dude warm up on our channel. We've had that there for a little bit now. The biggest thing I care about with anything that you guys do is always your form. So as you can see here, when I'm doing the air squats, all I'm doing is coming a little bit below that 90 degree mark and then back up. Same with front lunges. What I want you to check out here is look how my knee is not extending over my front toe. That's super, super important when you're doing these. Again, 
I don't care how many you can do. I just care that you're warmed up properly and that your form is on point. Good guys. And lastly, for push-ups, just make sure that you're coming up the whole way. Notice how my arms are fully extended at the top and I'm coming down. You can't tell from this angle, but my elbows are slightly in as to avoid injury in my shoulder or rotator cuff. Another thing guys, you can't just jump rope on cement all the time. Now, caveat here, Brendan and I jump rope on cement or asphalt pretty much all the time. That's okay because we have worked up to getting our legs used to that. And at this point, I can, I can be honest with you guys, I jump rope seven days a week and I don't get shin splints anymore, but that's because we've been doing this for so long. If you're a beginner, I would recommend getting a rubber mat. You don't have to be in a gym like I am here. This is my hotel gym that I was staying at, but you can get a rubber mat that we actually sell through cross rope I link that up below so check that out and honestly guys the last one is your leg muscles just need more strength the calf raises is a great way to do this um, doing squats can help but really what I would focus on here to avoid shin splints is build up the strength around your calf muscles and ankle the muscles surrounding your ankles simple you know calf muscle calf, calf raises like I'm doing here are sufficient um, and also just remember to have fun and just get after it do the thing ladies and gentlemen i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial check us out on the next zen dude fitness tutorial and please comment below if you have questions i'm out of here